Hello and welcome to another episode of Bar Owner TV. Today I'm going to cover part two of the profitable advice I learned from John Taffer's new book, Raise the Bar. If you haven't watched part one just yet, I suggest you click the link at the bottom of this video and watch that first because today's episode is in line with part one. So let's get started. Chapter three of John Taffer's book, Raise the Bar, is named Money is in Reactions, Not Transactions. And the very first quote in this chapter is from Sam Walton, who is the founder of Walmart. And I quote, there is only one boss, the customer, and he can fire everybody in the company from the chairman on down simply by spending his money somewhere else. As soon as I read this, and I couldn't do anything but fully agree with what Mr. Walton said. Within this chapter, Mr. Taffer says that if you think of transactions purely as financial exchanges, that you're missing a big piece of the picture. He says that every transaction should be a building block in a long, profitable relationship. He also said that every transaction has to feel personal and memorable if you want them to lead to repeat customers or referrals. And I completely agree with John on this. But this got me thinking of the first few years I was a bar owner and how I missed this by 100%. I was doing everything in my business, you know, payroll, ordering, scheduling, bartending, cooking, and even some nights pretending to be a real DJ and putting on a nice upbeat mix for the customers. With me doing everything in my business, I admit I got tired. I was frustrated at times. I wasn't happy and I did lose motivation at times as well. I didn't realize this until after I read John's book, but when I was working behind the bar, seeing the same people over and over, I got annoyed with some of those regulars. I got annoyed with some of the new customers who were extremely needy and honestly annoying. My personal gestures, I'm sure, were a complete turnoff. You know, I wasn't smiling. I wasn't carrying on a conversation. I just wanted that day or night to be over. I wanted to go home. And because of this, I'm sure I made a lot of bad personal reactions and lost customers due to my shitty attitude. John Taffer also stated that slow service and inattentive servers are the two most unpleasant experiences they have in a bar or a restaurant and that 35% of neglected customers say the treatment is enough to end the relationship with, uh, with that business. And also that more than 60% who hear or see negative comments are influenced to not give the business another chance. Those are some pretty scary numbers when you think about it. Now, I never did realize what I was doing to my bar business when I was tied down to work in 50, 60, 70, even 80 hours a week. And if I could do it all over again from the start, you bet I'd do everything in my power to make every communication I had with any customer or sales rep or an employee a pleasant one. So the question is, are you tied down to your business? Do you find yourself annoyed with customers? Or maybe you have managers who've taken over. Well, are they annoyed with the customers? Are they frustrated working all the time? What I learned from this chapter in John's book is, no matter what you do in your business, every single personal communication you have with anyone within your business results in future growth and profits. And if you can't put the stress aside and put on a happy face, you better put somebody else in your shoes that can you know, run your business or soon you might not have a business from lost customers. If your staff can't smile, say hello, be friendly, and, and start looking, you know, if they can't do that, start looking for others that can. You know, today's customers have more choices than ever when it comes to going to a bar or restaurant. And it's not just about price like most owners think these days. And if you run your business on lowest prices, well, you'll be struggling to keep your head above water. I suggest you keep your price in line with the successful operations in your area who are not slashing prices to get customers in the door and instead focus on the customer service and consistency of that service. Do this and you'll have a very, very profitable business and customers returning month after month. I'd love to hear your comments or suggestions on how to keep customers happy down below and if you haven't been to barownermarketingsystems.com yet, go there to get my free report and video series that gives you the same marketing and promotional formula I use with every single private client I work with. And I'll see you on the next episode.